Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Angie, and today is the day that I take my pumpkin obsession one step too far by turning my own face into a jack o -lantern. So everything in this tutorial is either gonna be a budget-friendly or a brand new you can find at the drugstore for those looking to get creative but not break the bank. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. So first I'm gonna start off with this nude eyeliner. This one is from ColourPop and I'm going to use this to map out the shape of my jack-o'-lantern face. So this is really good because it rubs off really easily if I don't like where I laid it down and it will also be easier to cover up when I go in with the face paint. And this just will help keep everything even so I don't have any like off sides and I can see that before I lay down the final layer. So I'm taking this wet n wild paint right now and I am going to use an angled liner brush and I'm going to use this to lay down the shape directly over where I put that eyeliner earlier. So this is a really affordable face paint. I think they have it at Rite Aid, Walmart, Walgreens, and it's $3 so it's really great for people who are looking to get into face painting, Halloween makeup, etc. without breaking the bank because I know it's expensive. So I'm going to use this to lay it down like I just said. And the eyes, I'm kind of doing in like a triangle shape, but it's kind of more curved because my face obviously isn't flat, it has curves on it, so this kind of gives it an easier way to do it without having to be completely geometrically accurate, if that makes sense. And I'm just using my lower lash line as the bottom of this as well. And I keep looking up because I'm trying to keep them symmetrical. The first one I think went really well, but then the other eye I had to like keep balancing out to fit it and it was just not, not doing too well. But it's okay, I tried my best here. And now for the mouth, I'm outlining where my teeth are. I kind of tried to line the teeth not exactly where my lip was. I tried to keep away from that so that way at the end of the day when it wears off, I can reapply lipstick on my lips and it won't mess up the teeth of my jack o' lantern smile. All right, now I'm just using a flat shader brush and I'm taking that same face paint to fill in all of the parts of my face. Side note, this is also a cream face paint, so it may crease and wear differently than you would like. And on my lips right now, I'm using the CoverGirl X Katy Perry Katy Cat Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade Perry Panther, so it's just a black lipstick that I can reapply over throughout the night. I don't have to worry about carrying face paint with me. And then I moved on to a smaller brush because I noticed that the other brush was just too large. So I'm going into the edges with the smaller brush just so I could fill everything in. And I also kind of made the bottom lower lash line like kind of smokyish looking because I like it when it's a little bit more grungy. And I used a pencil to fill in my waterline. I don't think I have it on here, but I used the NYX Jumbo pencil to fill in my waterline and my upper lash line as well. And also, one thing I think would have been really cool for this look is if I covered up my eyebrows, but I'm not very good at that, so I think that would add a lot to this look because it would kind of take out the weird little hairs that are going out of my pumpkin face. So now I am packing black shadow onto my eye. This is gonna try to prevent the creasing. It didn't 100% work, but it'll prevent more of the creasing that I was talking about earlier. And this is the Wet n Wild, one of their paint palettes that I bought, these are $6, and I'm just using the orange shade out of this Brights palette, and I'm using a small smudger brush, and I'm outlining the bottoms of all the points on my face. I'm gonna do this on the mouth, and the nose, and the eyes. I put it on the bottom first, because I didn't know if I only wanted it on the bottom, or if I was gonna want it to be surrounding it, so that's why I started with that. And these are also cream paints. They're identical in formula to the big paint pot that I showed you but colors you're not gonna need as many of, so this is smaller, but you get six colors. And now I'm just taking a pencil brush and I'm starting to smudge it out. I tried to mostly smudge it down because I wanted it to gradiate into my face color. I used the orange because I still wanted the orange of the pumpkin, but I also didn't want to paint my whole face orange because that's A, not gonna wear very well throughout the night, B, just a huge pain in the butt and a whole lot of time that I would be spending doing it. So the edges were a very good compromise, for me. 
But if you want to paint your whole face orange, I am, I'm not going to stop you. So I had to be really careful not to get this into the edges because cream paints do not dry down. So some at some points it kind of smeared a little bit with the orange paint and I had to go back in with the black paint to fix it. So be careful of that. That's why this smudger brush was good because it's flat enough where I don't get a lot of accidental leaks into the black base paint. So now I'm laying this down on my eyes and I realize that using my finger actually worked pretty quickly. So if you don't have a whole lot of brushes at your disposal, it's okay. You can blend it out with the finger. Really the only part that you need to use, well you don't even need to use a brush, what am I saying? You could use your finger. You just really need a brush to outline everything is pretty much it. But yeah, finger work is fine to blend these out. Like I said, they don't set so you have a lot of working time with these, which is really good. The wear time is the only issue with these. And now I'm taking this Makeup Geek eyeshadow. This is in the shade Bake Sale. And I'm using another shader brush and I'm gonna create the curved lines to give myself a pumpkin appearance. I didn't want it to be too intense because obviously it's on my skin so I don't need to look like a pumpkin. But I just kinda wanted to create a little bit of dimension to give the illusion that I have all the ridges that a pumpkin has. So I'm kinda just trying to make these line up and go outward so that's why they're kind of curved to give it a rounder appearance and I'm making it line up from above the eye to underneath the eye to my chin so that way everything connects and there's not it doesn't look like any weird lines are appearing where they shouldn't be and then I'm going to use a blending brush to blend this out this worked way better than the finger by the way and I'll kind of go back in and like touch up the areas where I want more but the this blending brush worked great to help make it more subtle which is what the look I wanted and next I'm taking one of the the green face paint in that palette that I was using and I'm creating some pumpkin leaves this isn't necessary but I've been trying to get more into body painting and I thought these little leaves were a good little touch to kind of break myself into it so I just followed a reference picture of a pumpkin leaf and kind of drew it I'm not the best artist for drawing I can barely doodle so these are kind of abstract little leaves, but they look like leaves, so it's okay. And this is just a really, really tiny liner brush so I can create the detail. And I'm gonna also use that to fill in this as well. Now I'm gonna create some little curly vines that are gonna go into my forehead, onto my hairline. All right, now I'm taking this Neutrals palette and I'm gonna use the dark green and this is gonna create all the leaf veins and as well as outlining the leaves and to shadow my little vines that I have coming out of my leaves. And then I'm just going to take this Morphe palette and I'm taking a brown and this is going to be the shadow. This is going to make the leaves look like they're laying on top of my face so they would have a shadow underneath the bottom part because the light is coming from the top. And I'm going to put that underneath the vines and I'm going to put that on the bottom part of the leaves. I'm not going to put that on the top part of the leaves because you wouldn't see a shadow from the top of it. And this is just going to add some dimension to it and I think this gives it a more realistic appearance. Even though, like I said, I'm not the best at this, and this is just really like one of my first times like trying to body paint in general. And I kind of tried to blend it out a little bit. I messed that one up. That was really bad. I was trying to define the lines more and I used the wrong brush. But it's okay. I saved it. We are all good. Do not worry your pretty little head. And now I'm taking the white cream paint and I'm just using my finger and I'm applying little highlights to the top parts of the leaves because I don't have a lighter green color. And that also just gives more dimension. So this is the finished look. 
I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe so you can see my other Halloween videos and give this video a like so that way I know that you like these and I'll see you next time. Bye!